Hello Calculus students, General Secrets of Truth, continuing our series of videos on solids with a known cross-section. And this time we deal with a semicircle cross-section. Also, we are dealing with two different functions. So you have a base that's bounded by these functions, and you have cross-sections that are perpendicular to the x-axis. So let me um, draw this picture and then we can um, investigate what this object looks like. Okay, so um, these two, this is what the picture looks like. The upper curve here is y equals the square root of x, and the lower curve is y equals 2x. Alrighty, now um, the, I found the intersection points already, and that's not hard to do. Just set these two equations equal to each other and solve it, and you get x equals 1 fourth and y equals 1 half. Also, 0, 0 is the other point of intersection. I'm not going to go into that because I don't. that's not the focus of this particular um, lesson. Um, and what we want to do is find uh, areas, I'm sorry, the, the volume that's formed by semicircles. So it's like, and these are perpendicular to the, y, to the x axis. And that's basically saying it's vertical. Even if it doesn't exactly reach the x axis, it's Saying that it is perpendicular to the x-axis basically means you have a bunch of vertical uh, diameters here. Okay, and um, so you kind of have these half circles that stick out of the paper like this, and we want to calculate well what is the um, the volume that's formed if we add all of these up. And keep in mind again the diameters of each semicircle will vary depending on where um, on the graph you draw them. Okay, So let's just not forget that the area of a semicircle is equal to 1 half pi r squared. And you can see here that r, this length, this red length right here is actually d or the diameter. Okay, And that's equal to the the top curve minus the bottom curve. The top curve is y equals square root x and the bottom curve is y equals 2x. So d is equal to root x minus 2x and that's the diameter. So that means the radius then is equal to 1 half square root of x minus 2x. And this is a, a simple enough problem. So then the volume is the integral between 0 and 1 fourth of 1 half pi r squared, but r is really equal to this whole thing, so it's 1 half times the square root of x minus 2x, that whole thing squared, integrated in the x direction. Okay, so all I've done in the next few steps here is just uh, simplified and gotten all the constants out. So I squared everything. This one half becomes a uh, a one fourth. Whoops, and I forgot that's also squared. This is also squared. And then one fourth times one half pi is pi over eight. And now. <clears throat> Finally, we're ready to integrate. And if you had to integrate this by hand, you would distribute this out. I'm sure that at this point, everybody can do the integration by hand. But again, that's not the focus. So in the interest of time, uh, I am going to enter this into a calculator and give you the answer. So this section is <laughs> turns out very, very tiny. And uh, the area is 8.181 times 10 to the negative fourth. So there's a bunch of zeros in front of this thing. Okay? But um, I've decided to go out to three significant digits after the decimal point here, or to four significant digits altogether. Okay? So um, yet another example of volumes of a no with known cross sections. And this time we just have a slightly different scenario, two curves that are creating a region and semicircles. And most of the errors that happens in these problems is people forgetting to have a one half here, people forgetting to to you know to draw the right picture and dealing they sometimes they do sem they do circles instead of semicircles. 
and then you know people forgetting to um, square things in the right places so most of the errors that I've seen in the past from students are usually small careless geometrical errors algebraic errors most of the calculus here comes down to understanding which direction you're integrating so I will end this here I will start one final video in this lesson that deals with a scenario where um, the cross-section is not a square a rectangle a triangle or anything that we know of and it's somewhat variable